how we do that is let's create our PHP tags here and let's see that. So what I want to do is create a variable called likes, like so, and then what I'm going to do is put likes as being equal to uh, empty string, like so. All right, so that whether they are likes or not, we can get an empty string there. And then when I go back here to where I had put the PHP tags over here, I will simply uh, remove the brackets like so, the outside brackets, because we don't want to see that if the likes are zero. So instead of this row here, we're going to put that likes variable over there. Okay, like so. So if I save this and then refresh the page, you will notice that uh, you don't see the brackets anymore and you don't see a number there either. So now let's make it have a value if there's actually uh, something to display. So what we want to check is if the number of likes is more than zero, then let's update this variable right there. So to do that, let's do a very quick, um, uh, a, a quick if statement. So I'm going to say likes is equal to, so it's a good idea to put open and close brackets where you put your expression, the if statement, and then you put, uh, but beware that this, what I'm trying to do here can work without these brackets, but it's just good for you to see what's happening. And then you put a question mark like so, and then you put a full colon, and then you put a semicolon at the end. Okay. Now, if you're confused, uh, let me explain a little bit. So in here, I'm going to put some, um, parentheses like that to make it easier to see what's uh, going on like so so what this means is if i put a question mark like this i'm saying if the condition that i've put in here is true then this likes is going to be equal to whatever i put here it doesn't have to be in parentheses because this can be a number like zero or something or a number like three here so I could put an expression in here, but in here it should be an expression. I can put an expression like row uh, likes, like so, is equal to zero, okay? Or in here I'm trying to check if it's greater than zero, so I'll do like so. So if I say if row likes is greater than zero, if this expression is true, then likes will be equal to whatever is immediately after the question mark is equal to zero. Or if it's false, it's going to be uh, equal to that, okay? So in this case, we want if uh, likes is greater than zero, we're going to equate this likes to whatever value is inside here. So we would do this, okay? And then if it's false, we're going to just give it an empty string, like so. So this is how you do an if statement in one line. But if this is confusing for you, that's fine. You can do it a different way. Let's uh, comment this out and do it in the normal fashion where we say if, and we put our expression in there. Uh, we already had the brackets. And then we do that. And then we say, uh, if that is greater than zero, then likes is equal to uh, this row likes, like so. And then else likes is equal to an empty string, like that. So what I have done here is exactly what I did in this one line. So this one line looks much uh, shorter and cleaner. However, it's a little bit difficult to read for beginners especially, but it's just good practice. Uh, it helps uh, a lot when you're dealing with uh, large projects to do likes like this, or you are trying to read what somebody else did and they did it this way, you'll be able to understand what is going on. So for now, I'm going to leave it with that one liner so that at least we can get some practice into doing these like so. And then that likes is going, whatever is inside there will be displayed over here. 
So let's see what happens uh, when we refresh the page. And there we go, we have that one like down here and we don't have the other likes uh, down there, which is cool. But we want the uh, inverted commas or the, the brackets rather around the number. So instead of just giving it that value like so, we're going to concatenate some parentheses. Or is it parentheses? Is it, uh, let's put a dot there. Or is it brackets, brackets, sorry. Like so. So we are adding these brackets, open brackets, closing bracket to whatever the number is, okay? So let me go back here and let's see what happens there. And you see that one over there and we don't see anything else down here. So that's how you put likes. But we need to be able to know if I particularly liked uh, so that I don't try to like it again, okay? And then there should be a way for us to unlike this post as well. So we're going to add that as well. But for now, we want to see if somebody liked, uh, we'll put a sentence down here where one person liked this or something like that underneath here. So that when we click on that thing, we can see uh, who actually liked that. But for now, what we want to start with is when we click on, uh, when we click on the like button itself, it unlikes if we had already liked it. So to do that is, um, not complex. So we go to the post.php that's inside classes, where there are classes in here. And this is where we were asking the question, uh, did I like this already? So this is the question right here. Is my ID inside these user IDs? Okay, so at this point, we already know that an entry exists a row exists for this uh, particular post with likes, so it already has likes. And here I'm asking, did I like it? And if the answer is no, that's when we go into that, okay? But if the answer is yes, we can still do this update uh, down here. So let's do something else and say else down here. So if I already liked, then unlike it. Now, in order to unlike this, what we are supposed to do, instead of adding uh, one entry there, we are going to remove that entry, okay? So we are checking here in array, okay? Right there. So what we want to do instead, if we know that uh, our entry is actually in there, what we want to do is search the array to find exactly which uh, which key are we on so that we can remove that particular key, okay? So let's do that. Let's go to user IDs because we know user IDs is the one that has uh, the, the user IDs uh, of people that have liked here. So what we'll do is we're going to search in this same one. So we're going to say the key, we want to find at which key or at which memory array location is our particular ID so that we remove it. So once we remove it, then the like is gone, all right? So to do that, we're going to say key is equal to, and then we're going to say array search because array search is going to return the key of whatever it has found. So the needle is what we are looking for. So we are looking for our very own ID. So that one is my book user ID, something like so. And then the haystack is where we are searching and that is where the user IDs are, something like so, okay? So once we search here, we know exactly which key in this array of likes is our entry, okay? So immediately we know that what we are going to do is remove it and to remove it, we're going to simply unset it. So we're going to say, uh, unset. That's how you get rid of a location. So unset, uh, it's inside, uh, where are we unsetting? Inside likes, sorry. And then we are unsetting that key right there, like so. 
and that's it so you can equate it to no or you can simply unset it like so so once we unset like that the entire entry is gone and then what we need to do now is uh, save again so we copy what's up here and paste it there so once we have unset that particular key and then we create the string and we encode the likes again okay and then we set it back uh, as we had done there on top we are simply replacing the like string with the new one simple as that but we must not forget to decrement the number here you remember we had added and this is actually a problem because we are incrementing the uh, the likes even before we know whether to increment or not so this should not happen at this point so what we are supposed to do is move this guy let me delete that let me move this guy down to let's say here so here we know definitely we added something we added a like so let's put it there like so okay increment we add one good and then we go down here where we are sure we are adding a new entry here so let's increment here now the issue here is that we are yes the or, uh, we have to increment here because it's zero originally then we're adding one but on this particular one because we are unsetting something we have to add a minus sign and do this and go to likes minus one something like so so i'm sure because we had that increasing thing at the beginning we're going to find that our number of likes has increased even though we didn't add more than one like so let me go back here oh surprisingly there's only one so let me go back to the likes here and there we go okay so let's give it a test and click here and see if we're going to get a zero and as you can see the like is gone if i click again what happens i get the like back click again it's gone all right so so far everything seems to be working just fine so when it's gone you have an empty thing like so and then the posts there will be zero so let's add that one here uh -huh. and so far so good all right so that's how you do the liking of posts so i can like this one as well let's like a different post Ooh, let's like this one so no like no like and we get there there's a like okay so the next video we're going to see how we can write the list below of who actually liked this particular post all right so i'll see you in the next video